Okay, so now we take a, a, a mixture of all these problems together and let's see what we have in hand. If you remember, we did all these various types of functions. So for example, here you have f of x is x squared minus 6x plus 8 find f dash prime minus f dash 8. What is it? So we need to find these various things. So we have f of x. So f dash x is going to be 2x minus 6 f dash 5 is 2 into 5 minus 6 that is 10 minus 6 4 f dash 8 is 2 into 8 minus 6 that is 8 16 minus 6 10 now f dash 5 minus f dash 8 is obviously 4 minus 10 minus 6 so we will find f dash 2 2. What is f dash 2 2 2 is 4 minus 6 minus 2. So this is minus 6 and this is minus 2. We see that this is 3 times f dash 2. So that means f dash 5 minus f dash 8 is 3 times f dash 2. Now mind these, this is the right option. 3 times f dash 2. Fine. Okay, now we have something here, y is equal to 1 dy by dx minus y. Now we calculate dy by dx, dy by dx is nothing but derivative of 1 which is 0, derivative of x which is 1, derivative of this is 2x upon 2 factorial which is 2, this is 3x square upon 3 factorial that is 3 into 2 factorial and so on and so forth. So this eventually is turning out to be 1 plus x plus x squared by 2 factorial and so on and so forth. So hence dy by dx is the same as y. So dy by dx is equal to y. So that means dy by dx minus y is equal to zero. That means when you find the derivative, you get the same function simply because it's an infinite series. So when you find the derivative, you get the same function. Okay, so dy by dx minus y is 0, hence option is 0. Okay, okay. now we have the equation of the tangent to the curve at the point 2, 7. So suppose there is a curve here like this. Let's so equation of the tangent to the curve f is equal to x cubed minus 2x plus 3 at the point 2, 7. Now let's represent this. Suppose this is the particular curve. And this is the tangent, and we need to find the equation of the tangent. Maybe we could take this point as x1, y1. Hence, we need to find the slope of this tangent. This is the tangent. We need to find the slope m. So, slope m, as we did in the beginning, of any tangent is the same as the gradient of the curve, which is nothing but the derivative, is nothing but f dash x which is going to be 3x squared minus 2. Now 3x squared minus 2 is the slope, is the slope but we want to find it the point when x is 2. So that will turn out to be 3 into 2 squared minus 2 which will turn out to be 10. Therefore the slope m is equal to 10. Now we use the formula y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus xy. We use the point slope form and this turns out to be y minus y1 that is 7 is equal to m that is 10 into x minus 2. This turns out to be y is equal to 10x minus 20 plus 7. So y is 10x minus 13. So now that we know the slope of the tangent, we should get 10x minus 13. If you remember, minus 13 is going to be the y-intercept made by this. Apparently, if you take the line like this, you will possibly intersect the y-axis of 0, comma minus 13. So this is the answer. So we have y is equal to 10x minus 13. Okay. Here you have y is equal to log x to the base y, then dy by dx. Okay, so this is 
dy by dx. Now we can write y is equal to log x to the base y. Now what do we do? We will change it to the regular log. We will change the base to regular log base to the base e. So we can write this as y is equal to log x to the base e. We can leave it as it is upon log of the old base y to the new base e. So we can already log x to the base e, log y to the base e, which can be written as log x upon log y. Now cross multiply, so you get y log y is equal to log x. Now take the derivative, differentiate with respect to x. So you use the product rule here y into log y that is 1 by y into dy by dx plus log y into dy by dx is equal to 1 by x so that means dy by dx into 1 plus log y is equal to 1 by x Therefore, dy by dx is equal to 1 upon x into 1 plus log y. So, this is going to be 1 upon x, so this is log x plus x log y. So, dy by dx among these has to be 1 upon x plus x log y. So, this is going to be this, x plus x log y. Option number B. Okay. So we have an interesting function which is concerned with combination. We know that MCR is nothing but M factorial upon R factorial into M minus R factorial. So f of x is this. Xc3, hence it has to be x factorial upon C factorial into x minus C factorial. Now this can be written as x into x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3 factorial on c into 2 factorial 6 into x minus 3 factorial. So we will cancel. This can be now written as x square minus x into x minus 2 upon 6. This can be then written as x cube into 2x square minus x square minus 3x square plus 2x on 6. So, we have been asked to find f dash 1, not f1, but f dash 1. So, f dash x would be obviously equal to 1 by 6 into 3x square minus 6x plus 2. So, we get 1 by 6 into 3x square, that is f dash 1 we need to find. 1 by 6 into 3 into 1 square minus 6 into 1 plus 2, which is going to be 3 plus 2, 5 minus 6 minus 1 upon 6. So that means f dash 1 would be minus 5 by 6. The small thing here is minus 5 by 1 by 2, sorry. Uh, it's not minus 5 by 6, it's minus 1 by 2. Minus 5 by 6. So you just need to correct the list. F dash 1, it will be minus 1 by 6. Let's check the answer. Alright, fine. Okay, now this sum we did earlier in the beginning itself f of x is x raised to k. We've already done this, we need to become kx raised to k minus 1. And the value you substitute it will be 1 raised to k minus 1, in any case it's going to be 1, and the answer is going to be 10. Yes, let's read it that way. Okay. Now here we have this y is equal to e raised to x plus e raised to minus x then dy by dx minus y square minus 4. Okay, so dy by dx is going to be by dx of e raised to x, that is e raised to x. d by dx of e raised to minus x is e raised to minus x and using chain rule d by dx of minus x which is minus 1. So it will be minus e raised to minus x, dy by dx. Now we need to find this out. Yes. Now let us find what is root y square minus 4. Now y square minus 4 is nothing but e raised to x 
plus e raised to minus x. The whole square minus 4, which is e raised to 2x plus 2 into e raised to x into e raised to minus x plus e raised to minus 2x minus 4. This of course e raised to x, e raised to minus x, this will become 1. So this will become e raised to 2x or e raised to x square 2 minus 4 minus 2 plus e raised to minus x raised to 2. This eventually is nothing but e raised to x minus e raised to minus x the whole square. So square root of y square minus 4 n would be square root of this which is e raised to x minus e raised to minus x. Therefore, dy by dx minus root y square minus 4 is nothing but e raised to x minus e raised to minus x minus of this plus e raised to minus x which will be obviously 0. So, among these 0 is the right answer. Okay. Okay. Now we have a function over here, cost function for the production of x units of commodity is given by Cx, which is 2x cubed minus 15x squared plus 13 x cubed 15. The cost will be minimum when x is equal to 2. So we have to first find out the values of x for maximizing or minimizing this particular function. So for that, we have to first find out f dash c dash x which will turn out to be 6x square minus 30x plus 36. Next, to find the maximum or minimum value, we need to equate it with 0. So, you can divide, equate with 0 and divide by 6 throughout. You get x square minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. This will give you x minus 3 into x minus 2 is 0. Therefore, x could be 3 or x could be 2. Now, there comes the dilemma now. Which among these? And we have both the answers here. How do you know which among these would make the cost minimum? So, for this, we find out C double dash x. C double dash x turns out to be 2x minus 5. Now, what will be C double dash 2? It is going to be 2 into 2 minus 5. 4 minus 5 minus 1. Which is less than 0. That means this refers to the maximum value. That means after this, the curve comes down. This is the maximum value. After this, if you find C dash 2 means the curve is coming down. That means this is the maximum value. On the contrary, C double dash 3, let's see, we will be 2 into 3 minus 5, 6 minus 5, 1, which is 0. This would refer to minimum value. That means the curve is like this. So, this is referring to the minimum value. And this is referring to the maximum value of the curve. So, you find the double derivative. Over there, substitute the value of x. Whichever value of x gives negative value, that is your maximum. And whichever value of x gives positive value for the double derivative, or rather the second derivative, that double dash x, that is called the minimum value. So, among these, we have 3 as the correct answer. So, we have 3 as the right answer. So, we have done a good lot of sums, right, from everything. So, let's see further what we have. Okay, so this is we did about uh, various types of concept, various formulae involved. It is essential that you learn all these formulae. Once you know the formulae, the various concepts regarding implicitly keep using the same formulae again and again. 